and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, especially on what is a really, really freaking cold morning. Today we're going to be doing another Witch Casket unboxing. This is the first Witch Casket of 2018, so it is the January box. Our card this month says, wishing you all a blessed 2018. In January, we look at the Book of Shadows, Grimoire or Spellbook. A witch's magical writings are a very special part of who they are, and January's casket embraces that. Please remember to read the enclosed list of content, blah 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 blah. Then there's a bit about social media, which is always, I always put which casket, social media and stuff like that, just down in the box below. None of this is sponsored, I just really like this box and I think more people should subscribe to them because I've had a lot of subscription boxes in the past, especially those that are kind of aimed towards witchy, gothy, alternative people, and this one by far is the best that I've ever received. So if you could go and give Deb and Ella some support, that would be awesome. Okay, so this is what our box is looking like. We have, if I try not to spell things everywhere, some really nice grey paper this month. And you can see a couple of things on the top there, so let's dig in. Our first item is another picture card. This one is gorgeous. This is probably one of my favourite ones that we've had so far. And I really need some frames. I've been looking for some cool picture frames, but I'm struggling to kind of find what I want so I can get all of these up on the wall. And this one seems very appropriate for me because there is a witch and she is looking at a book which contains herbs and there are bottles and jars of herbs and things like that around here. And I don't know if, if many of you know, but one of the things that I have started to do this year is I've actually started to do an online course and the course is called Magical Herbalism. It's just something that I've been really interested in for a long time, so I kind of wanted to take it further and actually study it. And yeah, <laughs> this is very, very appropriate for that. We have a big black pouch. This says Emotional Healing Charm Bag Kit. Okay. Mm. So we have our card with instructions on how to make our charm bags. It also tells you on the card the kind of herbs and crystals and things that are in the bag. So this time we have a white silky bag and we have our concoction here. I can see that there are rose petals in here, but there is a very unusual smell that is not something that I recognise. So I think I'm going to have to look at the card and find out what it is. We have rose petals, valerian root and white willow bark. This smells very much like the countryside. I know that sounds really weird, but um, it kind of smells a little bit farmy. I really like that because I live in the countryside and it smells like home, but it is definitely unusual. So I'm going to use that along with these little rose quartz crystals and make up a charm bag for myself. We have what looks like a bookmark. It's got witch casket written on it and then we have an Edgar Allan Poe quote. I really like this tassel, it's adorable. The quote says, I would define, in brief, the poetry of weirds as the rhythmical creation of beauty. Edgar Allan Poe. I am a fan of Edgar Allan Poe. I know that's a cliche, but I don't care. So we've got some incense cones. These are some of my favourites. Whenever I go to Camden, there is a stall that sells these incense cones and I always pick up the Nag Champa and also these ones. These are a type of Nag Champa, it's called Satya Nag Champa, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I am a big fan of these, they smell really good. Oh. We've got our crystal of the month, this time we have something called Black Line Jasper, I've never heard of this before, but it is stripy and black and white and it is very, very beautiful. It kind of looks like roots or veins on the stone, which is pretty awesome. And it is a gentle, soothing and healing stone, believed to bring balance to the yin and yang energies. It is said to carve nerves and neutralise stress. It has a beautiful, peaceful energy and as such is a useful stone for anyone suffering from anxiety. Something I've noticed is a lot of these stones are supposed to be good for anxiety. And I've been putting some of them under my pillow lately because I've been having a lot of sleep problems and um, really bad dreams as well. So when I wake up, I just kind of hold the stone in my hand and it soothes me and it helps me go back to sleep. So I will probably put this one under my pillow as well to see if I can get rid of these horrible dreams. Oh, this is adorable. 
So there is a sticker that says casket crew, it has a coffin on it and a skull. I've been putting all of my stickers onto my suitcase, um, so I'm going to add this one to it as well. We've got some green tea. I'm really liking this packaging that they've got going on. I don't know if they've changed it permanently, but I think it looks a lot nicer than the brown that they were using before. This is ginger loose leaf green tea. I love ginger tea, so I'm sure I'm going to love this one too. In fact, I might take it to work with me because I drink a lot of ginger tea in work in the morning. Anything with ginger and anything with peppermint kind of keeps me going on those long days. Oh, that smells delicious. Thank you. We've also got a pin badge in this itty bitty bag. This looks a little bit bigger than a lot of the pin badges that we usually get. Let's get you open. And this one says, Wisdom begins in wonder. And there's a picture of a book with some little witchy symbols on there. Again, this seems very appropriate for the course that I've started taking and I'm going to put this on my little pinafore. I put all of my little pin badges on my pinafore because it look, makes it look a bit cooler. Um, and this one is going to join those. We've got some spell candles in here. We have two in a white colour. And then we have something which is very nicely wrapped in paper. Let's get this open. I always feel bad ruining the tissue paper. Oh cool, so we have one of these spoons. I have seen these everywhere and I've actually bought one of these for my mum before. I think it was her birthday or something. I got her a really cool handmade mug and one of these little skull spoons as well. So I guess I can also use this for my tea. The next thing that we have in a box is an item of clothing, which I don't think we've ever had before. We have a hat. Uh, as you can see, it has the weird witch embroidered onto it. This is a really nice embroidered it feels really well done and I like that it has a little pentacle on top as well um, this isn't really the kind of color that I would go for as you guys know I wear black um, but it is getting really cold outside at the moment so I'm probably gonna be wearing this pretty often just to keep my head warm let's test it out shall we so it's pretty warm and cozy I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this a lot on the cold mornings that we keep getting at the moment Okay, so I think we're just down to our last two items now. We have our scroll, which we get each month. Let's have a look. This has probably got something to do with Book of Shadows, seeing as that's the theme. Yep, it certainly does. So we've got a little bit of information on the kind of things that you should put in your Book of Shadows. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, so it's just pretty much just a list of ideas and just a little bit of information about what people tend to use them for. And our final item in the box is kind of what we would have expected from the theme of the box. We have a book of shadows, or as this is called a book of spells. As you can see, it just says witch casket book of spells, and we have a pentacle on here. It's in this pretty cool silver text. And this feels really nice. I, it, it's weird, but it kind of feels almost like it's rubberized. I don't know if it is, but it just feels nice and smooth, and I know I'm being weird, um, but I also like that the pages are kind of like yellow and not white. It's lined paper by the way, so it's very good for writing things down. And there is also one of these little things so you can separate the pages, and it seems like there's a bit of elastic on here too, I'm assuming that so you can hold a pen so it's easy for you to write down things whenever you want. This is actually I can't excuse things randomly falling over in my room, that's slightly strange. Um, yeah, this has come like a week late for me because I could have done with this a week ago when I started my course. I actually bought myself a little notebook which kind of looks like an old spell book just so I can take down all of my notes for my course and yeah, just write down things that I think will be important for me to remember in the future. So once I've finished that book, I will make a start on this one. And I will probably start copying down all of the things that we get on these little scrolls just because I feel like it's important to write these things down for when you're actually practicing witchcraft. So there we have it, that was the first witch casket box of 2018. I'm very pleased with the contents, I feel like it's another good one and I'm sure they're going to keep it up throughout this year. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye guys!